Welcome to this Palladium accounting tutorial, which will be focused on the Adjust Document feature. The purpose of this feature is to optimise staff efficiency by eradicating the need to recapture documents when only minor amendments are required. For instance, when you provide a quotation to a customer and they return requesting a minor alteration, perhaps requesting fewer or a greater quantity of a particular item. Rather than having to recapture the entire quotation in full, you can simply go back in and make the minor amendments. The need to make minor amendments may also be down to human error, which we are all susceptible to. And this feature ensures that correcting mistakes is as simple as making them in the first place. Tutorial outline. Firstly, we'll demonstrate the adjust document functionality. Then we'll take a quick look at the audit trail that's produced. And then lastly, we'll take a brief look at the role of the user security rights. So let's take a look at a sales quote. Select our customer. Let's select a few inventory items. And now we'll hit record. Now at this point, if we realize we've made an error, perhaps we've selected the wrong salesperson, or even if we were meant to include a discount. Instead of having to start over and create a new sales quote, we can simply go back into the sales quote we just created, hit adjust and make the desired amendments. Now before we hit adjust, you can see we can't make any changes to the sales quote whatsoever. However, given we have the very specific required user security rights, when we select this tab, we can amend anything on this document whether it be quantity, price, discount, tax code, we can change the date of entry, the required date, we can change the salesperson, we can change the terms, and we can even go as far as changing the customer itself. Hit record, and as easily as that, with minimal effort, we've made the required changes. Now, this same adjust functionality is available in many areas of Palladium system. It's available on credit notes, sales orders, delivery advice, sales invoices, purchase returns, bulk requests for quotations, purchase orders, GRVs, purchase invoices, and in many other areas of Palladium. Part 2. So now let's take a look at the audit trail that is produced from adjusting documents that have financial implications, such as a sales invoice. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to go back into an existing sales invoice. Hit adjust, just making some random amendments. Apply a discount here and there. Uh, I'll adjust the quantity, change the price. Now if I hit record, now there's numerous ways we can see the audit trail of the adjustment I just did. So firstly, we can go to the general ledger, journal entries, and here we can see the invoice number ending in 026. And here you can see evidence that changes were made. Furthermore, we have the option of running a GL report for the Pacific linked account. In this case, it would be the accounts receivable account. So to do this, we select here for ledger reports. We'll select this report, the general ledger view transactions by account. And now we'll filter this accordingly. And here again, you can see further evidence of the adjustment that was made to this invoice ending in 026 and the values have been changed accordingly based on the adjustments made. Now if one seeks more detail in regards to the adjustments made, perhaps wants to view the makeup of the original invoice, Palladium does have a very detailed report available. So in the accounts receivable module, go to receivable reports, and in this report here, original invoice documents shows all revisions of adjusted sales invoices. So we'll run this report, scroll down to the last change that was made, and then right here at the bottom, we can again see invoice number ending with 026, the date the transaction was amended, 23rd of August. As you can see, that mimics my computer settings, 23rd of August. We can go as far as seeing the user who entered the change, which was the user Anthony. As you can see down here, user Anthony. It, has, it shows you the customer and the original invoice total. And here below, it specifically shows the inventory items that had adjustments applied to them. So this is the original quantity of these items. Part 3. We'll now address the role of user security rights in relation to the Adjust Document feature. 
Palladium system comes with an extensive user security rights feature, which plays a key role in ensuring that companies remain in control and can dictate which users can adjust, what they can adjust, and if they can at all, all ensuring that the adjust functionality cannot be abused. So I'm going to go into the profile of Adam and amend his user rights. So now if I go to the tab Access Rights, now, as you can see, Adam is currently blessed with having full user rights to all areas of Palladium. However, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to restrict his ability to adjust certain documents. Under Invoices, I'm going to take away his rights to adjust. I'm going to do the same for Sales Quotations. So now, just to reiterate, I have disabled Adam's ability to adjust Sales Invoices and Sales Quotes but I've allowed him to maintain his ability to adjust sales orders. So now I'm quickly going to log out as Anthony Westman. I'm going to log back in as the user Adam. So now because the amendments we've done to his user rights, if we go into a sales invoice to a previous one, hit adjust, and then we encounter this. It's requesting authorization from a user who has the relevant user rights. So as it stands, and because of the changes we made to these user rights, we're unable to make any adjustments to this document. And the same applies to sales quotes, as we also disabled Adam's ability to adjust the sales quote. Again, requesting authorization. However, because we did not relinquish Adam's ability to adjust the sales order, if we go back to a previous one and hit adjust, you'll see that no request for authorization has appeared unless Adam is able to make any adjustments as he may wish to this sales order and record it. And that brings this tutorial to a conclusion. To show our gratitude for you watching this video, please make a note of the discount code provided on screen now, which will entitle you to 20% off your next training session with us, whether it be on-site, online or classroom based. If you have any questions regarding the feature that was covered in this tutorial, please contact us on the details provided now. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.